We welcome all of you to the next I Stand Forum and it's indeed a very important forum where we have youngsters being encouraged to take up the science field. So a round of applause for all those people that have been thriving. Science is a very innovative subject. And I think as young people in the audience, I think it's a great thing for you guys to continue to embark on. Since I was at the age of 10, I was a very good math and science student. I can fully remember I was awarded an outstanding maths and quantitative aptitude. We call it quantitative aptitude before, but now they said quantitative reasoning student at Kabafira Primary School, where I did my primary level. Since then, I focused more on sciences and mathematics. I am a, I'm a doctor, I'm a medical doctor, I'm a practicing medical doctor. I'm a specialist in gastroenterology and hepatology. And all gastroenterology means is a disease of the digestive system. So I study the digestive system. Hepatology means uh, uh, diseases of the liver. So I'm a specialist of the diseases of the digestive system um, uh, and the liver. When I went into university to do my masters, we had nine ladies in our course computer networks, hardcore networks, cabling, you name it. Every, we had only nine ladies. The course was for 18 months. Two of us graduated. Everyone else ran away. We shouldn't always think about taking the easy way out. I'm not saying the other areas of um, administration or management is easy. It's not. It's not easy. But let's challenge ourselves. Let's do that little bit extra to be where our counterparts are. We can do it. The next Einstein can come from Gambia. Today is a very important day in the celebration of the Africa Science Week. Because today is the day that we celebrate women. And we know across the years, women have been ignored in the field of science and technology. But we believe that we want to change the narratives now. And how we want to change the narratives is to put women on top of our agenda. We started a hackathon. And um, the hackathon, I could see so much passion being driven into young entrepreneurs, young innovators, trying to solve the biggest challenges that we face. One of the groups was developing a cryptocurrency where payment systems can be done across the country. The other group was working on a transport app where the GTSC will be held so that people from all over the country can book their tickets and use the transport system that we have in Gambia. The, group, the other group was also developing a gaming platform where you can study maths and science. And in that gaming platform, you'll be able to learn maths and science and still have fun, which was a very amazing platform. And the final group developed an app where parents can monitor their school children while they're at school. And the app will be able to give you update on news feeds, what is going on in school, whether your student is present or absent. And it was an amazing, amazing competition where I felt that these young people had all the things that they need to really solve the biggest challenges that we're facing. 